say this, okay? Get yourself <laughs> some water and crank up the AC because the beautiful, the gorgeous, Ooh. the hot hottie Tyson Blackman is here! Yeah. Your huge deals on some hot items because my picks are back. Yep. And later, the ladies from Hollywood Diva stop by, and you know they're gonna bring a dose of reality with them. So let's get ready, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy that. <laughs> so you guys. I was really sad after hearing recently that oh. after dating for three years, I love this woman. I love this couple. Jordan Sparks and Jason Derulo broke up. Yeah, yeah. Her, yeah. I, right? Did you guys expect it? No. Ooh. Well, they are young, aren't they? But it's been really? three you years. Did? Okay, so Jordan and Jason's breakup got me thinking. What? When you've been with somebody for a while, post-breakup, what happens to the friends? The friends they've made, do they go one way? Do, like, have you guys been in that situation? Yes, I, let, me, let me just make something very, okay. very clear. When I said I expected it, only because, now I love Jordan, I love Jason, I really, really wanted them to work out, right? Uh -huh. But doesn't she kind of like appear to be like one of those girls who do way too much? Like a really? stalker girlfriend type, just a little bit. Like really? calling my phone. Like I got four sisters and a mother, I know women. I'm just sorry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like call the phone too much. Like she don't seem like she make him chase a whole lot. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, you don't answer that. a few phone calls, you just sit there and let look at oh, he's calling. <laughs> let the phone that's ring. Cute. Yeah, that's cute. But, yeah. if, but just think, just let's think if we were their friends, if we were Jordan's friends and if we we're Jason's friends. Yes. Which one would you pick? It depends on how it ended. I like to go with the victim. Oh. <laughs> I feel like if you were done wrong, yeah. then I, I, want, I want to be there for you. I feel like that's who I should be friends with. If somebody- But what if your friend did the wrongdoing? Yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like if you made it a point to make her a part of my life, I think that now I shouldn't just discard her. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you really went out of your way to make sure she became my friend and that she was a part of my life, I think it's really messed up to just expect me to be like, well, now y'all are over, so deuces. Like, that's not nice. You know what? If I'm dealing with friends, I go with whoever has the most money. I so, oh, know. my God. No, what I'm yeah. saying is whoever was I right would. or wrong. So like, I'm like, sorry, Tamar. I love you, but I would be friends oh, with them. You tried it. Oh, no, no, but at least I mean, she know. I mean, we can still work together. It's oh, funny. Oh, the one I will oh, say, oh, oh, is girl code. Do you not agree? It is. I kind of always side yeah. with the girl. I do, but let yeah. me just tell you something. Like, if I came in the door being friends with Jason, it's only right that I walk out with him. You know what I mean? Because then he's gonna feel like, you know, really at the end of the day, for real, do during the whole relationship, your loyalty lies with who you came in the door with. Yeah. Just yeah. to be honest I, about yeah. it. I understand I, that too, at the same time as a married woman. When I see married couples go through this, mm -hmm. uh, breaking up in general is such a tra it can be a traumatizing thing, and there's so many invo emotions involved. I think it's important to be supportive for both without getting involved. Like, can mm, you do that? You can be hard. friends with both, but not get involved. Just to be like, I'm praying the best for you guys. If you I, need something, I'm here, but then not. Yeah, just but I don't want to go out to dinner with your new girlfriend or boyfriend. Though. Yeah, that's well, the problem. Yeah, well, okay. I wouldn't do that. Well, I want you guys to be honest with me because you know Adam and I broke up for about a year. Yeah, uh -huh. it was pretty interesting. When we broke up, my mom took Adam's side, my brother took Adam's side, really? my best friend took Adam's side. Why? What did you do? Well, I... Uh, right. <laughs> well, what did you do? Because that's the only reason. Well, I don't know. I, I broke up with him. Well, I, I did. No, tell I us did. what happened. Yeah. I, I, I broke up with him. Why? Well, Adam and I had been dating for, you know, a, a long, a long time, and I didn't have... How long? A ring. Uh, it was about three and a half years, okay. four years, and I didn't have a ring on my finger yet, and I said I didn't want to become that nagging girlfriend, so I think it's, you know, I, I think it's time that, that we that I we met separate. It. But hmm. still, my mom took Adam's side, my brother, my brother was like, you are such a loser. That's what he said. <laughs> so if we broke up, you know, if you guys, we were friends, and we broke up, you know, now that you guys know Adam, whose side would y'all Yours. Yours. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, of course. See? I mean, that's All girl stuff, though. But you know, I have a homeboy who called the meeting. What? Yes, he, him and his wife was divorcing. Okay. And he invited everybody over for a dinner party. And he was like, look, me and homegirl not, we're gonna go through a divorce. We're not gonna be together. And I just wanna tell everybody that 
who I'm friends with, y'all can remain my friends. Who she was friends with, y'all can remain her friends, but we not get ready to do the switcheroo type of situation, okay? I like they that. just broke it down. I ain't mad so at mature. that. I like yeah. that. That's genius. It is genius. Yes. I think that that is a really mature way to go about it. I'm trying to remember, have I been that girl who lost a friend? Mm hmm And I do remember a lot of the friends siding with me, mm -hmm. and I felt bad. I said, don't leave that other mm -hmm. person. Like, don't do that, because then it's just awkward. We should be mature to move on, and we want better well, things. Well, I take that back. You don't have to break up. That's y'all break up. That don't mean I got to break up right. with you and yes, this. Right. I'm keeping both of y'all, because both of y'all some good to me. So, no, I take that back. I'm going to keep you. both of y'all, all right? No, you're not. I'm going to see you on one day and him on the other day. That's it. <laughs> Well, joint well, custody, I understand. Yeah, but we're yeah. talking about petty people like me. I'm really petty. <laughs> you know? Well, you I, want the, I don't want to do... Yeah, I have to admit, yeah. I have to own them you too. I'm very, it. very petty and insecure, okay? So you would just want me to yourself? That's it. Who are you friends with, boo? No, no, or, like... or I will use you. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Let's tell just me. Tell I would, me what's I would, going let me on. Know now. I would use you to tell me Vince info. Like, what he doing? Who he dating? Where he going? Where he been? That. <laughs> that, that I might help you with. Because yeah. I like you. Aww. You sure? <laughs> yes, I do. I love you, as a matter of fact. So. Well, in other breakup news, Pat and Gina Neely from oh, Food Network's God. Down Home with the Neely. Ooh, that broke my heart. I did not see that, you guys. years, yes. I did not see that. I love them. They have a brand and business together, so when you've been married for that long, how much tougher is it to split your mutual friends? Ugh. I think that that's really sad. My parents were actually married for 20 years, and to a lot of people, they were like this perfect couple. A lot of mm -hmm. people looked up to right. them, and <clears throat> after 20 years of marriage, when people heard that our parents were divorcing, they were devastated. Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is that my sister and I were not. Why? Because we wanted our parents to be happy. Yeah. And I think that that is what is most important, that these people, after 20 years of being together, shouldn't have to put up a front for anyone, right. for a business, for a brand. Be happy. Yep. Be, and I think seeing my parents happy was all me and my sister wanted. I was 13, she was 16, and we totally understood and we wanted Yeah, that's why I said, I don't care if y'all been married 50 years. If you're not happy, get, get out. out. Get okay. out. Get out. That's real. Get out. Like, life is too short. Life is too, too short. short. Find someone and be happy. And they both, my parents both remarried within a year, the following year. And they've Whoa. been married ever since to the same two people, and they're super happy. So but you, you know never know. They found their soulmates. When it comes to maturity, I think that's the number one thing. Like, I remember meeting Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Yeah. And he Ooh, his he's wife, sexy. He's so hot. Mm -hmm. He's so hot. And he and his wife have been together for a long time. And she's got her man, and he's got his new girlfriend, and she manages him, and they're friends, and wow. they want everybody to be friends. Lies. Because they're like, we're a business. I love that. His wife didn't ask for anything. She had her own money. And that's why I tell you ladies, you have your own money. When it goes, you ain't got to go to court and all that kind of stuff. Well, after any split comes that period of time where, you know, your friends are mourning. I think that every everybody goes through mourning period. You know, it almost feels like, not to say, but like the death of like something, it does. you know? I, it, it is. Right? Yeah. What do you guys do to cheer up your girlfriends? Because I know that I go all out for girlfriends that have gone through like really bad breakups, sleepovers, like all of that good stuff. Yeah. What do you guys do for your girlfriends Child, when they break up? You know, it's so interesting that she said it is like the death of, of a yes. relationship. Because I'm telling y'all something, Miss Tony Braggs and honey. Uh-oh. You know, her and her husband been together for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. And so he's like my brother, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. But I got to hear her on the phone. Can you believe Carrie? I cannot get over Carrie, 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 Carrie. I'm like, girl, can't y'all just work it out? Because it's stages to yeah. somebody yes. breaking up. You know yes. what I'm saying? First, it's like the devastation, <laughs> right. and they sad. And then it's the real <laughs> negative part, like, oh my God, girl, you're draining me. I can't <laughs> deal. Like, then it drains your whole Dude. day, you know? And then it's like, you know, I think I'm ready to start dating. And then you gotta go through, the, like, the La Hole in period, which I definitely approve of. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to go out, date, find out who you like now, you know what I'm saying? And Get then you gotta hear that, back. girl, I gotta go out tonight. Stella. I gotta go out with Paul tonight, yeah, 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 yeah. And then it starts all over again. Well, see, when I'm dealing with my friends and their breakups, I give them one favor. I say, what is it that you want me to do to help you to get over? You got one. Yeah, you get one. Just one? One, yeah, because let me tell you about my friends. Okay. One wanted me to help her go see the girlfriend, the new yes. one, right? Ugh. So I was like, all right, that's your one favor. That's my favor. We gonna go. So we get ready, we go to the place. <laughs> That chick was bigger than Shaq. I ran up out of there. I'm like, no, I am not, no. No, that girl was bigger than me. She was like, this tall? I was like, uh, you <laughs> won, girl, thought. you won. Yeah, on second thought. 
And then what I usually do, like, if they're really, really down and out, mm -hmm. you know, I take them out. We go out, we have some drinks, we talk, everything. And then some of them are so good, I wish they break up every week, because I have but a good she... time doing that, you know? <laughs> I have to give it to my, to my best friend, Andrea, who you She's know. She's such a good friend. She is amazing. She would drop anything and everything. When, when Adam and I broke up for oh, that really? year, she literally stayed over my house for an entire week. <gasps> all we did, yes, all That's we did. Isn't that sweet? Love. Yeah. Love. Did you we, go through the stages with her? I went through the stages. And what I love, yes, but what yeah. I love about her is she never tried to, you know, you know that person always tries to fix it. She just listened. Yeah. She listened to me cry, get angry, cry again, get hope, get sad. <laughs> She really? was, we even ate ice cream together. She's the best. Okay, then maybe you'll be annoyed by me because I am a solution-oriented oh, person. Oh, God. I know, and I've been told, like, let me just finish the Ben and Jerry's. Let me just mourn yeah, for another month. you just gotta get through it. You gotta mourn. I know. So I'll give you, I set boundaries too. I give you three days. I'll be there for you. You wanna, you, you wanna go cry about it. You wanna go eat ice cream about it. Whatever you wanna do. Then after that, I, I give you the breakover. Girl. What's Seriously. That? What's the breakover? We go shopping. Okay. You get things that make you feel better so that you can remember that you are more worthy than what that situation happened to you. Okay. And that you are worth it. Yeah. And that you are beautiful. Like sometimes the breakup makes you feel like, why did you leave me? I'm not but worth it. But you have it. to understand that there are phases. Yeah, though. but Jeannie, I love you so much, but you're not the person I'm gonna call because I don't want to hear no pep talk. <laughs> I, I know. I don't want to hear that. I, I, want, I don't, don't want to feel bad yeah. about feeling bad. I know. Let mm -hmm. me feel bad. But some women don't get it back out of it. No, that's but I want you to come me. to my pity party. You know what I mean? I don't want you to, you know, go to Most of the time, out. that's what they want. Absolutely. You know, you got to yes. let them, like, Ooh. like I mean, Tamara having, said, let them you learn for a minute. Yeah, but haven't you heard of the rule? Like, if you date someone for a year, sometimes it takes Half you, the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, right? Wait, Have you heard no. What? They no. say that. <laughs> but, uh, no. 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 What, Adrian? I was invited to a pity party once. Yeah? And then I was held hostage. Really? That's, yeah. That's what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. Y'all know Ray, my hairstylist, and I had a friend that was breaking up with a man. Uh huh. And she invited us over. She had lots of wine. <laughs> my type of party. What was the problem? That's and a great party. she didn't let us leave. We were like, oh, well, no, you're gonna be fine, girl. Like, you, you're gonna be just fine. <laughs> we ended up being held hostage in this girl's house for almost an entire weekend. What? Oh, no, I would have got up out of there. I'm the I would have broken the window, girl. So. An entire weekend. You know what? This, I, wait, this it is... gets worse. It gets worse. Worse. Right. Spent an entire weekend held hostage. We left her for one day. And she was back with him the next. What? See, that's when I get I was That's okay. why she didn't want you to leave. Okay, that's exactly it. You know, this, you know what? Be there for your friends, but you set standards so that you don't drive yourself yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. all yeah. I tell you, all right? That's real. That's so all all this breakup talk, all I have to say is, thank God I'm single. <laughs> I don't have to share if I break up with myself, okay? <laughs> I get to finish a whole roll of toilet paper by myself, all right? <laughs> I get to have some peace of mind when I go home, all right? And you know what? If I have friends, I get lonely, I can call them up and we can have a good time. For this girl right here, this chick from Detroit, single life is the life for me. Woo! When I think about who's having a fun life, I you think, think about Lonnie. Really? 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 Are you talking about the benefits of being single versus the benefits of being married? Is that what we're talking They're about? Saying, there are more single people in this country than married people. But does more mean better? Like, yes, it does. Okay, to you. <laughs> okay. What do you think, Sam? Why well, do you think Katie, there's so no, many please. benefits to, to, to being married? Let's, For me, let's go over it. One, when you get married, you have to die to yourself every single day, meaning you learn how not to be selfish. You think about, yeah. you know, you think mm. about other people. And I think I'm a, I'm a better person because of my husband, because he inspires right. me to be a wonderful oh, human being. Crazy. Don't you just love, Tamar, coming home and then knowing that you have someone else in the bed that you can cuddle with? Absolutely. Yeah, I love that. That's like, Adam's my as you get older. hideous, as I you really get am older. glad. When I'm really beat up looking, I'm so glad that nobody's home. <laughs> when it comes to food, it seems like everyone is trying to tell you what to eat or what not to eat, making you feel guilty if you're not up on the latest health trend. Let's keep it 100, y'all. Everybody indulges from time to time. Yes. And here at The Real, we're no exception. So it's time to eat, ladies. Welcome to The Binge! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I am 
They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so I have a combo that will make you want to rise and shine. It is a breakfast pizza. Ooh. Go on! A pizza with all the fixings, bacon, eggs, tater tots, and cheese. Ooh. I want a piece. And um, I have a slice for all of y'all. I want a piece. Thank you. Oh, you just give God the glory. Okay. I, grab I love that it's sunny side up. Let's try it. Oh my God, it's so good. Buttery. Buttery. Yes, the very buttery. Mm. The tater tots hit the potato and eggs feel really well. Mm -hmm. That yolk just kind of brings it all together. I enjoy that. What you got, Jeannie? Okay, so oh, I have an interesting good. twist on a classic. Okay. okay. It's an apple crumble pie popcorn. So you get the taste of delicious dessert, everybody's mm -hmm. fave, in the fun snack form of a popcorn, you guys. And oh, I love and it's popcorn because it's a light snack. It's like kettle corn, but with apples. Yeah, that's what yeah. it tastes like apples. That's yes, what it that's yeah. You can taste the salt and the sweet, and then the apple apple. And yeah, the apple. Good. Okay, Adrian, what do you have? All right. Now, every now and then, we all need, like, comfort food. I know me. I love me some comfort food. It's called the Mac Attack Burger. Mm. It's a cheeseburger with mac and cheese on top. Oh. <laughs> mac and cheese yeah. and a burger? Like, Ooh. who thought of this? this Adrian, you I didn't ask what that Oh, is. sorry. Uh -huh. I'm mad selfish. I'm sorry. I like this segment. I eat. Here you go, ladies. Okay. okay. Wow. Look at this bite I have where the mac and the cheese are oozing over the sides. This is the best. The yeah, fact that I just that. ate some popcorn Ooh, with my mac and cheese burger. That's wow. good. That's genius. And I have something else that's genius too. Okay, okay. okay. talk to me. Now, y'all know I love me some good buffalo wings, right? Yeah. But they're uber messy. So now, guess what has come to the world? Oh. What? <laughs> <gasps> buffalo wings in the soda, y'all. What? <laughs> Wait, you can what? get your hot wing on without looking a hot mess. Wait, I'm scared. I'm, watch you I'm first scared. Tomorrow. Drink up, Buttercups. It's good. Really? So you're drinking buffalo wings. It's I don't good. Think... Yes, because technically I'm washing down my macaroni and cheese hamburger with buffalo wings. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to the gym for sure. It's spicy soda. Well, wow, we have dined today. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> Ice cream is a nice way to top off a good meal. Yes, it is. So, I want you guys to try this. It's a coffee ice cream donut sandwich dipped in chocolate. Child. Yes. I mean, oh my gosh. This is beautiful. <gasps> oh my God, I mean, the ice cream. Wow. Just make sure you have my back and call 911. <laughs> okay. Oh, somebody pinch me, because I've been dreaming of this day my entire life. Today's guest, is known for his banging body and good looks, voted one of People Magazine's top 50 most beautiful people, the very handsome Tyson Beckford. Yes! <laughs> And whatever yes. the question is, you have to answer it. Okay, so. All right. It's gonna take a few days to stop. Yeah, it's gonna stay. Take a few days. It's the ice breaker. Talk to us. Oh, Jesus, going and going. All right, all right, come on. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Let's see. My biggest turn on are uh, women's shoes and lingerie. I, I do like the CLs, uh, for those of you who don't know. I'm just know. chilling over here. Don't They're worry Christian about me. Louis, Louis I'm just hanging out over here. Wait, yes. Tyson, I like how do you them. feel about kitten heels? Kitten heels? <laughs> <laughs> kitten heels. Tyson, be careful. You have to explain kitten heels be to careful. me. Be careful. Is that... It's a heel under three inches. Be careful. I see you looking. A kitten heel. <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's not a heel. Calm down, Lonnie. What's up? How are you? Stripes looks good on you. I saw you thank come up. Thank you. Oh, oh. And thank you, and I didn't see uh, you I know. way back. Do you I did your me? show. Yes. 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 I had the biggest crush on you. Uh, did you tell? No, I, I thought like, you were so professional. Thank you. Yeah, it thank was you fun. So much. It was a fun show to do. Thank you. It was like you. one of my, oh my first gosh, ones to do. Oh my gosh, he remembers me. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> now you're married. Too bad. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. <laughs> So Tyson, you been a model forever. I mean, not forever, like in a bad way, but like uh -huh. you've like been around. Like, yes. I, I just made 22 years. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. When you yeah. were walking out literally, Tamara was like, thing. "You, oh my yeah, god." Yeah. I, I mean, I was in the gym this morning getting it in, and I just yes. feel like if you eat right, you sleep right, and you uh, yeah, you feel that. You can tell. Stay with it, Adrian. And then you just um, <laughs> you just take care of your skin and just moisturize. You'll be all right. Yeah, you know, and that's right. what I did, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but you know, it does seem like forever since you was in my sister's Unbreak My Heart video, yes. right? Yes. 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 So, and then you were a model. I remember oh, everybody man, that, gawking that video, over you. That video did a lot for my career. I mean, Aww. yes, it did. I, mean, I have to always say thank you to your sister whenever Aww. I see it or hear the song. Um, funny enough, the director for Addicted was the same Billy director Woodrow. for uh, Unbreak yeah. My Heart. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So we go back that far, you know. Yeah. And we all, me and Billy, always say it comes back around when it's time. It does. You know. I mean, I started off as an actor. I really? Took it, yeah. But wasn't getting the acting jobs. Someone said to me, "Yo, you should try modeling." And then I got the contract with Ralph Lauren, and then it was like, "All right, I'll act later." Well, we glad you okay, did. Acting yeah. now. Yes, yes I am. am. Your new yes, film, Addicted, is yeah. based on a Zane novel, so we can only imagine how steamy Ooh. your scenes Ooh. are. Mm -hmm. oh, what were... can you tell us about the film? Um, the scenes were very steamy, but we would only have like three people on the set when we were shooting some of the scenes, just wow. out of respect for the actress, uh, Sharon Leal and myself. And you know, we had a, we had a lot of sex scenes. A well, lot we, we can't a show preview. on this show. We have a little preview. Oh, so come brace on. yourself. We do? Yes, <laughs> we do. Let's see it. Hey, baby. What's wrong? Are you okay? What's going on? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Okay, Tyson, it's no secret you can make anything and everything mm -hmm. look good, Punky. You really can't. Okay. So we need your help in making a couple of print ads look sexy. Over oh here, boy. my girl Lonnie, she can contain herself. Mm. She doesn't sop you up with a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing, Lonnie? She, she's gonna, gonna show you her background together. right behind okay, her and she's gonna give you some props to help you out. Okay. Okay, we'll call out a scene and you have to strike a pose. Mm. All, right? All right? Are you ready to play the real top model? Ready. Ready? Right. So summer is over. So here, Adrian, you're gonna be the photographer. Yes, I'm the okay. photographer. We want you to show us how cool, cool <laughs> work it, Bobby. Bobby, work it. Okay, school. All right. Yeah. Sell it. Now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look, like, he already know what to do. Okay. Oh my oh. God. Give me sexy, give me, give me sexy. Okay. We need a little one, more two, smile. All right, ready? Smile for more. me, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. All What's right. The next? Okay, this What's one next? is for the ultimate spring break package. Two nights, three days at an all-inclusive resort in Cancun. Uh-oh. Let's see what you got. Okay. Ready? Let it, like, think beach party. Okay, Let it so look like you're having this beach time. Party. Yeah, okay. like, give me sexy. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. okay. Oh. I think I got Ready? one. One, on. two. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait.
my really God. You're really a model, which clearly you are. Uh, uh, I need you to sell President's Day. Right. Make <laughs> our founding fathers proud with your shirt off. Salute America. Come on, give it to us proud. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Okay, here we go. but I'm not sorry for putting you to work. <laughs> but this was hilarious. You're welcome, America, all right? Our next guests know firsthand the struggle of being a black actress in Hollywood, and they're changing the rules of the game on their new TV One series, Hollywood Divas. Please welcome film and TV stars, Elise Neal, Golden Brooks, Paula J. Parker, Lisa Wu, and Countess Vaughn. <laughs> Ladies, all right, tonight is the premiere of your first season of your show, Hollywood Divas. I personally can't wait to tune in, so please tell me what it's gonna be about. Oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. You know, I think people really think we have certain personalities, what we do as actresses. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was like a, a chance to see my personality as a real person, as right. opposed to a character. I, you know, I think everybody just shows a lot of our, who we really are. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I saw really the preview, <laughs> so I wanna know Bring who it bumps out. who. Oh. Who bumps heads the most? Golden. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, okay, I definitely, Lisa Wu and I definitely, we start out with a lot of friction. We come from two different worlds, but as you see, as the show continues on, you sort of see us sort of thaw out some of our differences, but we definitely, in the yeah. beginning, it's, it it's, a little rough. it's uh, oil and water. Gotcha. For sure. So I want to know. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Who's the biggest diva of them all, honey? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I would say, I would say Elise. Uh, uh, Bring it. Oh, yeah. that's not what I heard. No. They call it no. me. No, I didn't know that. No, no. I, I, you know what? I think we. I did my we... own dress, though, so <laughs> I don't know. I'll take it. <laughs> Only team, because so, <laughs> I'm the diva wrangler. Right. Okay. And it takes oh. a diva mm. to wrangle a diva. And oh. for me to be that's able really to cute. direct these women, I had to. Yeah. Come up. I have okay. to bring my game up. So I'll take the biggest diva slap. But hey, <laughs> yeah, a yeah. diva is a female version of a what? Hustler! Hustler. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I need to see this all in action. You guys brought us a clip, so let's take yeah. a look. Yeah. Hollywood is a fickle business for a black actress. One minute you're in, the next minute you're kicked to the curb. I'm developing a project and inviting a select group of black actresses to join me. Where? Insane. You wanted to be the director and the star. The Don't nobody thing want too. your man. We couldn't come together because there's so much ego involved. Let the games begin. I felt it. My Maleficent. Yes. <laughs> yes. What are your struggles being, you know, black actresses? What are your struggles in Hollywood? You know, for me, I feel like I've been very, very blessed. I can't mm -hmm. complain too much, so I try not to. But, you know, it, it can be a struggle sometimes. Different roles, and it's like 15 people going in for the same role, mm -hmm. and they're only going to pick one. Right. That can be a struggle for everybody. We're That's all right. trying to figure out what. How are you coming through the door, that. and they say, "You know what? We want that character that we've seen for years. Yes, mm -hmm. right. They continuously want to see that character you've done forever. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like, true. let's try something yes. different. Well, how are you ladies creating opportunities in this industry that's known to be difficult? Directing. Well, I, I've always directing, been a writer. Writing, yeah, writing, I, writing. I, mean, I started out writing, writing with Tyler yes. Perry back in the days, and 20 years ago, oh, did my wow. movie, stage wow. play that he directed. Know that. No, they yeah. don't. They don't know that. I do. Yeah. That's why I brought her on. Yeah, but but my know, girls didn't but know, basically but you that made for the You get to see all of those things that you guys don't know about. Right. You know, I've been singing and dancing since I was six years old, and I had a group that the Phenomenal. pussy cat don't stole. <laughs> we did a, a <laughs> show for them on the show, on this show, yes. yeah, and I was able to see yeah. that. So and yeah. all was telling the girls, you know, really I started off as a singer. I was like star search. Right. Star search. Star search. I remember. Right. You started off as a singer. Yeah, yeah. You, were, yeah you were very you know, young. You know, I started off as a singer. Now I'm an actress. And so. then 227. Oh, yeah. 227. Yes, honey, Miss Countess got a throat on her. She does. She does. That's what she thinks. Yes, she does. 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 She
been caught in situations that got completely blown out of proportion, right, ladies? Oh, yeah. yeah. Because we are in the spotlight. Yes. Ting, 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 ting. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so now we're going to give a few crazy scenarios, and we're going to let you guys tell us how a true diva handles a crisis, all right? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's play this game called What Would a Diva Do, Dog? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, you're at an event and the back of your dress splits and your backside is exposed. Ooh. Oh, what do you Rihanna. do? Perfect, because yes. I always have some safety pins in my anything. Oh, there's anything. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was gonna grab the first person that's close to me. Say, hey, put a safety pin in this so I can get to this carpet. Good answer. All right, good answer. Okay, Paula. Oh. Your question: As you're leaving a high-end store, the alarm goes off and security chases after you. Oh no! Oh, I give them panties back. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You was gonna see me. Okay, Miss Countess, you've been accused of stealing a few actresses' roles uh -oh, in no. upcoming Shonda Rhimes Word. drama. Oh, what yes, would a diva Word. do? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Take your part, girl. <laughs> it ain't stealing when it belongs to you. Oh. Oh. Hey, Miss Lisa, how would you react if you arrived at an event and another girl was wearing the exact same dress? So, no, you know what? It would never happen because yes. my dress is always designed by my designer. Yes, always. 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 Always.